Greetings, YouTube. Um, I was thinking about game mechanic pet peeves, and to ramp up toward this video, I asked a couple of my friends if they had any pet peeves, um, and uh, they told me, and this is uh, the gentleman gamer, told me that complex combat systems, such such things, are different, difficult enough to coordinate without having to factor in posture, weight of weapons, recoil cover, weather, wounds, armor, and ammo type. So I can completely understand that. Um, I think of Aftermath or Morrow Project or uh, any of the other systems that are supposed to be doing realistic combat that do that kind of thing. Then I asked my friend Greg, and his response was, I don't like how a special attack effect without a save, such as stun, paralysis, poison, etc., can affect a character with a lot of hit points as easily as it could a zero level nobody. Hit points are not supposed to be about actual physical damage, I agree. They are a measure of endurance, fighting skill, luck, destiny, etc. A one hit point damage attack against a high level fighter could be interpreted as a near miss, but if the attack has a special effect, it kicks in anyway. And there have that's a, that's a kind of thing that has plagued some mechanics in D&D in the past. Um, and uh, so these are legitimate gripes to have. One of my legitimate gripes when it comes to game mechanic pet peeves is the, uh, very similar to the gentleman, overly complex combat that takes into account every hit location on the body. And I've seen someone that like, there are like 15 hit locations on the body and each and every single one has its own hit point allocation and you have to keep track of if hit points in each allocation, and then there are different effects. Of course, when the leg goes out, your movement is slowed down, and it reduces your combat effectiveness, and your arm goes out. Your you get the point. You, this is this endless series of different areas in your body that, that that can take damage, and then some. And then sometimes they take it up, they crack it to eleven, and if you wear armor, the armor has armor. Uh, hit point armor ratings in each of those places as well. So then you have to keep track of how much ablative damage has your armor absorbed and when the X now got hit to absorb by the armor but and wear the armor down and it got through the armor and did so many points of damage to that point it's just a nightmare I prefer the more abstract Pathfinder D&D style hit points when you just are saying boom it's you take X amount of hit points and when you get down to zero you're going unconscious and you get down below like I usually do negative con and you die that kind of thing um, so that's the thing, that's one of my bet, biggest pet peeves. And of course, another pet peeve, which isn't necessarily a mechanic, but game related, is the whole weapon weight thing. The whole, but it's endurance, it's not just weight, and it's mass, and it's not, oh yeah, screw it. It's, it's annoying. We know what weapons weigh, we should have systems that affect that. Um, so those are the kind of things that I find that fall into the category of pet peeves, as far as weapon is, uh, rules are concerned. It's not necessarily game-breaking stuff, but it's the stuff that you find worrisome, and it, it just wears you down, man. It just wears you down over time. And that's, these are the kind of things that get to me. It, like Pathfinder, I would say uh, mechanics is just so many feats. That's not necessarily a true mechanic, because you can take some feats out. But the whole idea that there are just so many feats to choose from, that's a pet peeve of mine. Um, and sometimes the combat can be overly complex. I never tried 4th edition, I heard it was even more complex than standard 3.5, so I didn't want to get near that kind of crap, thank you very much. 3.5 and Pathfinder is complex enough, I don't need something that takes it even further. Um, and again, it's a pet peeve with the whole complexity of armor and the complexity of rules, keeping track of weapon weights and windage and what have you. And there are systems that really do this because they're trying to do realistic combat. Yes, this is an abstract game. We have to have abstract rules to a certain extent. But of course, your definition of abstract and my definition of abstract and the gentleman's definition of abstract and my friend Greg's definition of abstract are all going to be different. So tell me, dear viewer, what are your game mechanic pet peeves?